Sepertana and Sepertana Station here, finally doing a stream, um, on Twitch. So what happened was, I guess I, uh, I couldn't log in to Twitch to broadcast through Shadowplay for some reason. And the reason was that Mike later found out was that I needed an update on a driver or something. Um, last time I streamed, I accidentally streamed to YouTube because what happened, uh, was... Well, I guess I can't show you. Um, I clicked the YouTube tab um, and then clicked back to the Twitch tab and it looked like it had logged me in and then I, 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 I'm not sure exactly what I did. It was something that had to do with the YouTube tab. So, but it's working. Everything's working now. I've got a lot of stuff to show you. <sighs> toddlers need a toddler bed to sleep. Find them in a toddler s toddler sort. In the toddler sort. In the kids section of the build mode catalog. So, let's see. Go away. Um, once again, I cannot save on this uh, file because I have removed the not safe for work and wicked whims files folders. I know differences. Okay, so first off, I know that looks really funky, that green right there, because all the rest of the grass isn't that green, but... I, 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 will, I will show you. I um, finally added the Smilesville grass color to these hills. Which are, I believe are made by Twisted Mex or whatever his name is on Mod The Sims. His, her, I don't know. Oh, there's one thing I forgot to do. I got a mod of somebody who, I guess, liberated some picnic tables, but I checked and the pic picnic tables were already in the catalog and I forgot to remove the mod. Because now, uh, then I have two of the same picnic tables and boo! Yay for me! <laughs> Go, Plum Bob. I know that. Thank you. Oh, am I in the Sims 3 camera? Yes, I am. Okay. So. So. And I also have um, a new um, terrain replacement. So I cannot wait to show you Wayward City. <laughs> so as you can see the hills now um blend in perfectly with the grass i mean you can see a little bit of seam right there but that's because of you know patches in the default grass where it's kind of dying and of course there's this big gap between stephanie and sugar cube corner and i can't color the terrain i put up some um candy plants um put in some, let's see, what what is this? Apple tree, put in a cocoa tree, and a pistachio tree, and some mushrooms, and radish, radish, blueberry, and what's this? Uh, raspberry. Move, 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 okay. <laughs> Um, I think I did want to have a candy cane tree, but I didn't really, it didn't really look good. I'm, I mean, this is a small lot, so, um, the thing is, is, now this doesn't look very good, so I'm thinking I, I, I don't know, what do you guys think? For those of you watching on YouTube, what do you think needs to be changed about, um, the colors of the plants around? Give me your opinions on 
um, anything, uh, except for the fact that the hills need to be this color. The hills have to be this color. Anything else, I, I, need, I need your input. <laughs> so that's Steph's place. I haven't made too many changes, except, uh, let's see, I planted some stuff in here. Um, carrot, potato, onion, and tomato. Oh, and this, what is this? This is a pomegranate tree. Um, anything else? Let's see. I, I did plant some mushrooms. Yeah. Mushrooms. That kind of sucks that that thing is coming down here and it looks weird, but that's okay. Who cares? No one cares. Nobody cares. What's this? Parsnip plant. Okay. And I don't believe I made any changes to down here. I really should be working on her stuff, though. She has a lot of kitchen stuff that needs to be set out. She's got this black and white theme going on, except for the floor. <laughs> um, what else? And it's been a while since I've been here, so I don't know what I did to this place. It's quaint and planty. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I've said it before, I'll say it again. If I didn't laugh at myself, I'd be dead right now. <laughs> oh, she has two bathrooms? I didn't even realize. I bet I have better floors and stuff. I don't know. That I, eh, I don't know. And then we've got to do some... I have a better easel than that one. That'll look better in her better 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 and then this is the guest bedroom um where coco stayed when he moved out of his house um the first story of hard candy by the way is up on my quote of um 18 and older readers only so coco stayed here for a little while uh, marzipan eventually moved in when coco saved him um and then bubblegum so there was th three boys staying in here and then when Lollipop came along, um, they started, uh, he, he moved sort of in. He didn't have very many possessions or anything, uh, neither did Marzipan. Uh, and that's when they really started, um, looking for a home out in Smilesville, so. I mean, this is in Smilesville, but, I mean, their own home in Smilesville. So, yep -a doodle strudle Okay. do <laughs> <laughs> Get me! I wonder what made them decide the plum bob. English. I don't know, it's so simple, but it's so iconic now. And is plum bob like an actual word for that shape? I mean, I would call it a diamond, but... <laughs> Or is like, is it specific to, I don't know. I didn't change anything about their lot. Did I show you what I had of Candy Cane Lane so far? I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, so I moved, I moved everything to my main save. Um, so that everybody could have their homes. Um, I mean, I didn't move everything, uh, basically anything in Smilesville, so, let's go, let's go take a look. Candy can lane, candy can lane, do 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 Trogdor was a man. I mean, he was a dragon man. 
Or maybe he was just a dragon. But he was still trying to <sighs> All careers have a daily task to boost performance. Hover over the performance bar to learn more. I should just start reading them in funny voices during the loading screens because they take so long. I'm not responding my ass. <laughs> Ray Dawn, I love how you said you should just start reading them because the loading takes so long and then you didn't totally didn't read it. Yeah. Things happen. <laughs> I know that. What did I have that I took away from build mode in here? Surely I didn't put anything not safe for work in here. Why would I? Okay, so it's not completely done, but my fence is working, only to find that I messed up. <laughs> and it's not my fault. You see, Sims 4 Studio doesn't allow you to edit fences, stirs, columns, spandrels. So I had to use um, TSR Workshop, and it's, it's a confusing program. It is not, I, I don't know, I don't know if it's just me. Uh, but this is supposed to be snow on it. I made it to try and match the person who made a snow gate, which I edited it to edited it to make it look Christmassy. So that I mean, I mean, it does. It matches. I just the snow doesn't look realistic like it does right here. <laughs> so. My bad. And I've got lots of snowy plants and rocks to put out. Um, oh my god, there's something in my eye. Hang on. In my eye. Ow. Get out of my eye. Okay. So now that I have uh, them living on this lot, I could probably put all of this stuff in my inventory. Um, and then work on the plant stuff outside. I'm not entirely sure if the inside is finished. Let's take a look. The kitchen's not. The kitchen is what's not finished. Mmm. That... Those words. Those words came from somewhere, and they ended up somewhere. Words! Okay. So, for whatever reason, these cabinets don't have slots on them. That bugs the crap out of me. And I don't think the dining... No, the dining room is not finished, but... There's a game of Monopoly right there. I believe it's playable. Um, let's see. We got coat. Did I just... Oh my god. <laughs> I thought this was a deer tail. I'm like, whose deer butt is that? I don't remember having a deer butt. <laughs> and I need to fill the shelves. So... do. And other places need slots. I found a better piano. I was like, where have you been all my life? Because I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure this came with the game. Am I wrong? No, it didn't. But still, I, I don't remember just suddenly, all of a sudden, suddenly downloading suddenly. So, but it's better than the other one, especially since it comes in white. So... Ring 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 and everything. Okay, so this uh this needs to be finished. Um, this needs to be finished. I set a bunch of things out to remind myself to put those things there. Um, still working on the Christmas trees and stuff. Um, I named her Ruthie Reindeer, right? This is Ruthie's bedroom. See, I don't remember what I've showed you guys, so... And then... Shelves still need to be... Her bathroom... She's more natural because she's a reindeer. Fun fact, female reindeers have horn... Antlers... <laughs> Raytana knows Animal Kingdom! <laughs> 
So, um, and then Miss Candy Cane's bathroom so far. And then up top, boop, I did make some changes to this. Um, working on the two identical fireplace rooms. And then this is the rooftop ice skating rink. Now, this is just white. I am going to make... Where are the strip poles? <gasps> the strip poles are in the non-safer work. Okay, so I was using strip poles to put these little lights on, but I guess that's not going to happen. <laughs> anyway, I need to make my own ice floor. And I'm not sure about this snowy tile. I almost feel like I should take the snowy tile and not make it tile so that it doesn't have the lines. I don't know. Move. Move now. Okay. What do you guys think? Do you like, for those of you watching on YouTube, do you like the tile look? Or should it be solid? Like it snowed. But I mean like, it, lo it looks like light snow and then the snow got in the grooves of the tile. So whatever. But I set out the ice um, furniture. I made the ice mirror float. Because magical snowflake, that's why. <laughs> um, still have to set out the ice schools. Got some penguins. I put a little glacy on right there. <laughs> Playing on the ice. So, I don't know what I'm going to do about the poles. Um, obviously, it's very, very bright right now. I will have to um, adjust the intensity of the lights. But I literally just set this out yesterday. So, yep. Okay. Um, You know, you're not really supposed to take this long to load when going to the to the world map. But I guess whatever flies your zeppelin. doing I'm being an idiot okay I haven't done anything more to Kiki Mimi's house but I've done more to Kiki Mimi I'll take a look at the the sims um, that I've worked on in a moment so next next is my place hey and I deleted all of the others in the world um, except for Ivana's other um, I deleted all of my others and Yapmis because I made some updates to the Raytana and Senpai Sims. Um, so I, I just figured that when I get everything good and everything's good to go, I will start over. It won't be that hard. What frustrates me is the lack of hair, clay hair, that goes over the eye. I'm sitting here with Iopmus, and I'm like, Hey, you're supposed to have hair covering your eye, and it's supposed to be slightly asymmetrical. And it's supposed to be long! I just want everything to be accurate. <laughs> Buy seeds by clicking on a plant box. Bought in build mode to begin gardening. Good morning, USA. I've got a feeling that it's gonna be a wonderful day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that just reminded me of 
uh, probably the most disturbing American Dad episode I've ever seen in this last, um, I mean, it was in this last season. It was called Closure. <laughs> And, 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 and I, I mean, I don't want to spoil anything for those of you who are American Dad fans, but it's just, it's not right. It, it's so wrong. It's not right. <laughs> it's just not right. <laughs> oh my god! L-O-A-D-I-N-G, L-O-A-D-I-N-G, loading, 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 this is a loading song. I'm waiting for the Sims to load. It's taking forever because of my custom content. I'm waiting for the Sims to load. And my little star cursor is there changing color and it's pretty and y'all are jealous. Just kidding. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. L-O-I-D-I-N-G, L-O-I-D-I-N-G, loading, 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 this loading song. It's Rusev Day! Name that reference. <laughs> <gasps> really? I, I guess I can't really blame it. There is quite a bit of stuff to load, but... <sighs> Still, really? So I don't know if I already explained this, but because of a, a lost save, um, I have had to backtrack on my treehouse a lot. So I really don't remember what you've seen. We're just gonna go over it. <laughs> Okay, okay. I mean, strip poles aren't that not safe for work. Why would I have put them in the not safe for work folder? I don't even know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so first and foremost, I have decided, I was thinking about it, I was thinking about making Pokemon um, exist in Encephalon, but I thought against it. Because if you think about it, in the Pokemon universe, Pokemon are the animals. And Encephalon has its own animals, so... But I have a lot of Pokemon models and stuff. There's a Jolteon. So, I have decided that since the Sims version of Encephalon is imperfect and not at all what I wish I could make it, that Pokemon do exist in the game. In this game. So, even though... The only things that I have in Encephalon are my Vulpeline and my rats. In this one, I has all eight evolutions and an Eevee. So there's my Jolteon hanging out in Paka's house. When Cats and Dogs, or whatever it's called, comes out, I'm hoping that I'll be able to make a cat or a dog that resembles a Vulpeline. So that'll be fun. Okay, so we got some candy plants, some fun little mushrooms, which I imagine, because they're so colorful, um, are candy mushrooms. So edible, non-toxic, non-hallucinogenic, um, more bubblegum trees. There's a Benny. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. ducks come out of there. And uh, they currently walk through the rocks, but I wanted them to walk into these bushes because they, they disappear at the end of the trail. And I didn't believe like, disappearing duck! Ah. But I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there's a Paris in there, too. Giant toad. And a little frog. I don't remember putting that little frog next to the giant toad. Are you going to eat that frog? <laughs> anyway. Um, this is animated, so um, the birds come and play in the water bath. This is animated, so birds come and eat the bird seed. Um, there's a rat. There's a lot of rats. I have decided that in, in Encephalon, both here and in my Encephalon, um, that I have all the rats. For one, none of my rats can die. So I have Rem, Ezio, Sammy, along with, you know, Tommy, who in Encephalon is nice and young and healthy and no tumor, um, no cancer, and, um, Jerry and Orby. But I also have tamed 
wild rats. So I let the rats come into the rat sanctuary, crawl around the house and stuff, but I have trained them. We're going all Willard here. I have trained them so they don't chew on stuff, and I feed them, and, and they can go wherever they want. And even my pet rats, when they go out, then they know how to get home. And they don't get eaten by anything. They don't, they, they don't leave, they don't leave this because perfect world, everybody, perfect world. <laughs> Here is a fountain thingy, water hole where you can look for frogs. I liberated it. Um, here's a shrew. That's a shrew. <laughs> also changed the color of my hill because it changed all the colors of the hills. There's a rat. Um, there's an axe and a stump because firewood. Got another rat. Oh my god. Move, 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 move. Bunny rabbit. Lots of flowers. Butterflies. I need to recolor those butterflies so I can have more of a variety. Um, what's down here? A rat. <laughs> when in doubt, rat. There's a tortoise. There's a bigger tortoise. Butterfly. Duck, 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 duck. I believe some ducks walk around here too. Goose! <laughs> That entertained me. Um, there's my Vaporeon. I put a big frog there, a duck in the water. And I have also decided that there are little, like this isn't just decoration, this is actually a living fairy. Log, I liberated a log and made it so that it could float on the water. It took some, took some interesting tactics to make that to liberate things properly. Um, cotton candy tree with cotton candy sprouts. This amazingly wonderful, oh my god, amazing candy fucking tree. Um, sorry Twitch, I let, I dropped an F-bomb, but I, uh, that'll be the only one, okay? Okay? Don't, don't worry. That'll be the only one. I just had to express my joy at this candy tree. And there's a thing with its eggs. I don't know what that is. But <laughs> it was cute. There's a lizard on the rock thing to sit on. I have also decided that there are plenty of candy animals and chocolate frogs exist as actual frogs. Um, they're not Harry Potter chocolate frog snacks. They are actual frogs. So, yeah. Um, I imagine... Uh, I mean, have you ever heard of people licking toads to get high? Well, I imagine licking a chocolate frog would just allow you to get the chocolate flavor. Um, no, nothing can, nothing can really get you, like, on a dangerous high in Smilesville. Um, you know, like a drug type high. You can get, like, you know, not the bad high. Like, like I, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. That's a log. You can search for frogs in there, too. Oh, 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 oh. And that is the entrance to the rat sanctuary. It's a little hole within this tree. But the tree has a fade, so it's like, ha <laughs> it's just sitting there. It's a squirrel! And another log, oh no, I did not liberate that log. The squirrel, right there. This log is by Jenny Sims, I believe. Um, is that another rat, or is that another squirrel? What is that? Oh, it's a rat <laughs> uh, Okay. Alright, so... I might as well show the rest of the house before I show what I really have accomplished. Okay, so these are little plant pots. And they're cute. So I have little plant pots there. There's my Eevee! My Eevee is running! I'm thinking of maybe taking like one of the garage doors or something and making it really small and make it a, a, a wall object so that I could stick it on a door and have like little doggy doors but and I was going to make this Eevee shiny but shiny Eevees are silver and that looks really washed out so even though I love shiny Eevee it's gotta be it's gotta be normal colored all right and caca caca <laughs> what else did I put up do, 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 do. I put a strawberry plant right there. Um, and oh, I changed. I was able to change one 
photo frame because I I made a version of Anna Tear specifically for this photo frame. So that's the photo frame that sits in my living room on my table of Anna being sexy. And then I was able to get my wallpapers. This is significantly smaller than my actual bathroom, so is the kitchen. Everything is is not to my liking. <laughs> Especially since I cannot make cylindrical houses. I want round walls! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I totally forgot about my Flareon. So there's my Flareon. I tried to put them in, in places where they, you know, would like to hang out. Jolteon, unfortunately, you know, electricity. I, I couldn't really figure out where to put that one. Flareon's next to the fireplace. My Vaporeon was next to the pond. Evie was just running around outside. Um, my Sylveon is in my bedroom, and I have my bedroom wallpaper here. I finally, 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 finally made the shelf! I did this! I did this! I, I took a base game shelf, and I turned it into like a longer shape down here, changed the shape of these hooks, cloned the place and put it up top, made it all like that, and I'm proud of it! I'm proud of it, guys. Oh, and I also, I'm surprised he's not out right now. Um, is he in here? Charmer. I made Charmer. So let's go ahead and set him on the shelf real quick. He doesn't sit on the shelf. <sighs> certain types of slots don't allow certain types of things to, you know what? Look at him. Look at that. I think I might have to change the normals on him. I'm not sure what's going on with him. Um, I don't have a light in here, do I? Yes, I do have a light. Okay, maybe that'll give better light to him. I'm gonna put him down here. So, yeah, he's got some funky lighting that I think has to do with the normals. Um, he was very hard to do. He's not perfect. He is far from perfect, as you can plainly see. But I did it. He, he looks pretty damn close to my actual charmer. And while I was making him, I was trying to... I, I searched through as many images and as many sites as I could. Glaceon playing with a repeat ball. Let's try and find, because he looks like an ugly doll. Does he not look like an ugly doll? He looks like an ugly doll. Well, I searched, and I searched, and I searched, and I could not find an ugly doll that looks like Charmer. I mean, of course, I added the star, but still. And then here's my Umbreon and Espeon, and I think they're getting in a little argument, but I put them both up here because night, day. Ha 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 ha. And then here's a squirrel. Um, and there's an owl sleeping in this tree. Hoot! And I have bubbles. And I also put a bubbles crack in the chimney. So, <clears throat> when in live mode, bubbles come out of the chimney. Now, I may not be able to color the animated bubbles pink, but that's okay. I'm just going to leave the bubbles. They're bubbles. Okay, now... For the Peace de la Restance. <laughs> so I'm setting out all of Mike's stuff. Um, just some of the stuff, but... Okay. So I have a bunch of sea stuff. Now that I have the bubbles, I took the steamy bubbles cracks out so that the pond doesn't steam anymore. Um, got a bunch of fishes. I mean, I already had the dirt fish. already had a lot of fishes, but I have some goldfish now. Um... I have some coral and some plants now. Um, again, the bubbles. Some other stuff. Dead fish. Sad. Um, Smuggy puss. And stuff. So, that is the aquarium. Okay. So, around the house you see rat holes. Um, on the walls that are not like, you know, outside, it has a rat hole on the other side so that it creates the illusion that the rats are going through. I was having some difficulty with this sniz right here 
something's wrong with this CC where like I try to move it and it's it's stupid it's dumb and I don't want to show you because I'm afraid it'll freeze my game <laughs> okay so I think this is supposed to be a stereo yes this is a stereo but it looks like a, a video game so I'm trying to create a craft corner right here oh and and, and my leafy on my leafy on loves to play in the rat sanctuary so this is the rat sanctuary I'm pretty sure I I showed you this but it's so cute to see the animated rats come in and out so it's got water got lots of things for them to nibble on a specific garden just for them um, and then I'm still working on the decorations of this place um, but so far we got some posters of Powerpuff Girls it's very sweet like um, books mouse toy toy box um, snacks the cutest Charizard in the world oh in the world <laughs> I still have to recolor um, some of this whimsical furniture I have this is my paint corner obviously I'm not finished with it but um you know has white walling <laughs> so that I can you know go crazy and not have to worry about messing anything up except for the glass of the fish tank in which you could just wipe that off. I use mostly acrylics anyway. But I mean, you know, glass is easier to clean than floor. <laughs> there's a loaf of bread that you can sit on. And there's a ho oh table. That's not a real ho oh. It's 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 a table. Okay? The the Pokémon furniture like this gloom table, that's not a real gloom. I'm not using Pokémon as furniture. <laughs> And here's a rat. I imagine that's Rem, even though Rem has a white belly, but that's the closest to Rem uh, that I find. So um, we're working in here. Um, though I do imagine that this Litwick is actually a real Litwick. <laughs> Sitting there being a candle because it's cute. There are exceptions to my rules. Deal with it. <laughs> a curtain of CDs. Bubbles because she's my favorite Powerpuff Girl. Pinkie Pie. A tiny little turret. Do, 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 do. I imagine that's Tommy. Um, furniture, hats, candy, 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 books, candy, candy, Jack and Sally. Now, I don't actually collect Blythes, but I collect pull-ups, so that Blythe is not as scary as real Blythes are, so that's supposed to represent my pull-up. Where's Pinkie Pie? I just set out Pinkie Pie. Okay, so... <laughs> Well, I know I'm not going to save, but I need to go find Pinkie Pie. I'm working on um, Inky Pie right now. Um, unfortunately, I have to make her main from scratch, but watching the video of the person who made this Minky Pie model really helped. I'm like, oh, so that's how they do it. The problem I have is with unwrapping things. Unwrapping things is the problem I have. So there's Minky and Derpy. Here's Pinkie. So I can't actually get very close to her to show you how good she looks. Um, so with Derpy and Pinky, um, I got their manes and tails and Derpy's wings from Gmod ponies that were converted to Blender. Is your tail going out of the... It doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. The, my problem is um, I'm going to have to try and convert uh, Gmob, Mod, Apple Bloom, and Babs to Blender, and I don't know how to do that. So, any of you guys, do you know how to do that? Uh, Gmod slash uh, Source Filmmaker models, do you know how to do that? Please tell me, because either you could teach me, or you could do it for me. I don't really care which. <laughs> so Robbie the Rabbit, because Silent Hill. Um, the Powerpuff Girls. These are so cute. They're not even um, Powerpuff Girls Z versions. They're they're just stylized anime versions, and they're so cute. I don't know why Blossom looks more masculine than Buttercup, but that's okay, because Bubbles looks cute, and I love Bubbles. Alright, so... Unfortunately, with other pets, 
uh, other pets aren't quite as trainable. So we got two guinea pigs, because you can't have just one guinea pig, and we have two chinchillas, because I figured that since they're closely related to guinea pigs, they also need companions. So um, they have nice little plate of fresh fruits and veggies, a num num num, and I have a thermostat down here, which turns on this radiator, radiator, because since this is in the basement, it probably gets much colder than in the normal house, uh, in the main house. So I have to keep it at a specific temperature. Grilled cheese in front of rat hole. <sighs> specific temperature so that they don't freeze to death. So yeah. And then the rat stuffed animal right there. And some cake. Um num num num. Sugar! <laughs> so I'm not done with that yet. But nice, right? Let's go to Blaffle Bliss Acres. <sighs> so I planted somebody's garden. Realized that everything was too close together. Also found out how difficult it is to maintain such a large garden on your own. So I also had her hire a scheduled gardener for some help. <laughs> Gardening is hard. They don't even come with sprinklers. Like, I have decoration sprinklers, but they don't come with game sprinklers that help water the plants. And I'm like, dude! The crap! Cubby rooms, roof shapes, or stair sizes by selecting them and using the cubby tool. <laughs> water. Lapple Bliss Acres. She's not home right now. That's okay. We're just going to go into build mode. And which in build mode you cannot see my decorative sprinklers because they're animated. But that's okay because at some point at some point I'll actually like record play through that's not one of my like not safe for work videos. I, I wish that on Twitch you could like mark it beforehand that it has sexual content, but absolutely no sexual content is allowed on Twitch at all. I mean, with YouTube, you can at least age restrict the video, but you can't do that on Twitch. <sighs> uh, I need to pump my neck. <sighs> okay. So I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this is an extremely scaled down version of Senpai's home and Encephalon. If you've ever seen a ranch and how big and vast they can be, that's m what her ranch is supposed to be like. This looks like a crowded farm that probably shouldn't have as many animals as it does because there's a lot of animals and and they're all like squished together and stuff. Um, her house is much smaller than I would make it in Encephalon. She makes a lot of money. She's, you know, the number one Blapple distributor in Encephalon. So, she, you know, she makes way more money than... But, I I mean, in, in Encephalon, her ranch is next to my treehouse. I had to have them together! I had to have them together! Come on! Like, seriously. Aspirations can be switched at any time without losing progress. Here we go. <sighs> go. I, I said, here we go. I vouched for you. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. So, here's Blapple Bliss Acres. Oh, I found more pigs. My, my eyes. My eyes are stinging. Okay, I found more pigs. So, we got two types of pigs here. <laughs> Extraordinarily clean pigs and filthy pigs. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they just have, like, 
maybe they're two different breeds. I don't know. I need to ask you guys, for those of you who have family members that farm, um, if you grew up on a farm, if you have a farm, ranch, etc., what animals are allowed to mingle? I heard that pigs need to be kept separate because they get ra rather violent with other animals. Um, I know chickens and ducks can mingle with basically any of the animals. I know sheep and cows can mingle. I'm pretty sure goats can mingle too. But, like, what absolutely needs to be separated? Um, especially since I left the chicken coop open. Chicken slash dodo bird slash slash emu coop. <laughs> um, so for those of you who, who know farms, let me know which animals specifically need to be kept away from each other. Anyway. This donkey is donkey horse, mohawk horse. This thing is going through that plant. And it wouldn't matter if I moved it because I'm not saving this one. The Majestic. Okay, so I finally found some goats, so now my goat signs actually make sense. Um, I figured out how to take the foundation away from the fence. You see, what you're supposed to do is you're not supposed to start the fence from the structure that has a foundation. You have to start it somewhere in the middle, so it doesn't have a foundation, and stretch it over! Now, I got really sick and tired of not being able to use these doors, and... And it just, it bugged me so much, so I just set the door there, but now there's this big gap right here, and a big gap right here. And I tried to put windows there, and it looks so bad. So I don't know what the heck I'm doing with that. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I care. I care so much. This sucks! If one building is separate from another building, it shouldn't have to have the same foundation! I mean, obviously it can have different foundation styles, but I mean, this shouldn't have a foundation just because the house has a foundation. That's stupid! EA, fix it! Fix it! Fix it, fix it, fix it. Fix it. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if I... Uh, but putting this on the floor made it so this ladder actually makes sense, so I don't actually have to go in and edit the ladder mash... mash? mesh to take that away. There's a rat on the rafter. Beep. I also put these support beams. I know one is in front of the window, but it's okay because it's between the window part. So, and then there are a bunch of rats that run around in here. Um, that's alpacas. No, those are, those are llamas. They are llamas. I keep wanting to call them alpacas, but they are llamas. Um, I've decided that these are are the nests for the dodo birds. The dodo birds use these as nests because dodo bird. There's also a trough right here. It's empty, but I imagine food would go there. I'm probably gonna use um, the nine key to put in food in the trough. Um, moo. Um, put in a different fence. There's a, I found more farm stuff. So there's another bale of hay. Um, milk canister. Um, I put a kitty cat right there because these these windows are also shelves. Can you believe that? We got some preserves over here. Um, and then I found some actual gardening gloves and then I put some paint right there. These don't have slots in them and that bugs me. I don't know, maybe I'll edit them or something. I don't know. Is something, I mean, you would think that the person who made this would also have something that's supposed to go in there, but I can't seem to find it. Um, why do I only have two of those stacked? I should have, like, an entire stack. I don't know. Whatever. Um, put some more sacks. Well, it was a sax man from the state of Tennessee. That cat is sniffing that lettuce. Cabbage. Whatever. Um, ducks come out of here. Um, there's a wagon full of cabbage, butterflies, uh, gardening boots, real gardening boots. I put this little garden thingy here for potted plants, for transfer, um, potatoes and onions, because why not? Quack. Sunflowers. Goose. 
<laughs> Huge pile of mushrooms, jeez. Luckily the mushrooms don't need meat to water them. So we got a sad excuse for a cornfield. Then we got some raspberries. We got some blueberries and some strawberries. Some grapes because grapes grow on bushes. Um, parsley, spinach, um, sage, basil, chickpeas, move, 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 tomatoes, um, green chilies, cucumbers, because cucumbers also grow on bushes. Oh, there's a diglet hidden in the dirt there. Diglet. Um, carrots, parsnips, radishes, potato, onion, another, a, a different onion. It's two different onions. But do they look like, do they look exactly the same? They're two different onions. They're supposed to be two different onions. And then garlic, and then lettuce. Okay, and I put some breadcrumbs in the tree right here so that it looks like that there are birds flying into the tree. And there's also a beehive over here, a bee thingy, you know, to harvest honey. And schniz, some buckets, this glitchy olive plant. Um, the sad excuse for a blabble orchard. <laughs> it looks so bad but that's that's what I that's all I could do I um, replaced uh, this with a new carton of apples that I'm gonna recolor blue um, get the money um, so these are blapple trees they're supposed to have blapples in them I don't know if my recolor um, is actually working we'll see when we harvest I guess they're, I think they have fruit on them but they're not showing fruit if it doesn't work, I um, had somebody make me a tutor tutorial uh, by request. I didn't be all like, hey, you, make me a tutorial now. They made a tutorial for me of how to make harvestable plants. It's not easy. I can tell you that much. It is not easy. So I don't know if I also pointed this out, is that there's regular sheeps, like regular sheeps, and then they're like, Super adorable cute sheeps. This is a super adorable cute lamb. I'm thinking that they should be um, one of the sugar animals. I unfortunately don't have a matching sheep. Um, I found some actual steers that weren't the same size as the cows, so... Steers! Oh, 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 the, 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 the chickens! So, we know about the emus and the dodo birds. But I found this chicken coop with more chickens and itty bitty chickies. So I have those itty bitty chickies and now I have these gigantic chickies. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay. So realistically, here, here, here's, hi rooster. Th realistically, those, those chickies would come out of that chickies place. So <laughs> who do these big chickies belong to? Well, since the emu is the biggest bird, you would think that the chickies belong to the emu, but I don't know what emu chickies look like. So these big chickies, belong to the dodo bird because I don't think we have an estimated guess of what the dodo birds chickies look like and those are the dodo birds eggs they're big they're probably very painful to lay and those are the chickies <laughs> deal with it <laughs> those sheep are having a conversation okay and there's a sheep dog she also has lots of cats um laundry when cats and dogs come out, dogs and cats, whatever it's called, when that comes out, I'm going to fill the other seven slots with cats. And I don't know if I'm going to keep all of the decor cats or not. Squirrel plant. Um, this squirrel is foraging, but it's looking at a cat who is looking right at it, pretty much. So will that cat hunt the squirrel? Will the squirrel get away? Or will the cat just say, I don't feel like it today? There's a newspaper. Uh, bump. There's a cat statue. Goose. I liberated these plants from debug. Oh, oh, oh. We got some dragon fruit. Are all four dragon fruit? Yeah. 
Um, got some blackberries and got some bonsais, I guess. Um, more mushrooms. Do, 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 do. Bunny. I put a mechanical garden gnome here because she likes transformers. <laughs> um, bunny garden gnome. Um, anything new? Pig. I can't make pig noises. Um, I added a panda garden gnome too. A bunny. That bunny, bunny is eating that lettuce. Um, alright. Oh, I also added that thing. Quill plant. I, I, it gives quill fruit. I don't know, it just looked, it looked cool. It's cute. Smiles, Billy. I put some cats right there. Some plants up here. I put out a table with some lemonade and a cat. In case you can't tell, she likes cats. But unlike normal cat ladies, well, unfortunately, this house doesn't exactly reflect it, but unlike normal cat ladies, she is not like a hoarder. She actually has the money and the means to take care of them. Um, unfortunately, these kittens that I have are not as small as they probably should be compared to the adult cats, and if I make the adult cat bigger, it just looks like a freaking panther. It's like the same size as the dog. Um, not quite done with the kitchen, I don't think. Um, I do need to make that another slot, um, invisible. I didn't even notice it. Um, so we got some spices. Again, it's so much smaller. So, I'm leaving that picture the way it is, because it's blue. Blapple. Um... Of course, a calendar with men. <laughs> so, this comes with get to work, I believe. So, I don't, I don't know. I just thought it would be funny for Senpai to have a calendar with shir shirtless men. And then, got some uh, Maneni Nekos here. And then, one of these things is not like the other. Paper towels, chicken, cat food, a water dish. I do what I can until I can get the actual expansion, which comes out after my birthday. Cat in a cup. Some kitties. Juice maker. Sushi cats. Now, I have yet to decide if these are decor or if these are actual cats. I'm thinking they should just be decor because I can't imagine how heavy that sushi is to strap to a cat's back. That's mean. Domo toaster. Um, cupboards, posters, so I put all these dishes in here. It's not the best looking thing in the world. Ironing board, another kitten, a small bookcase, another cat, um, cat stuff, butterfly mirror, she likes butterflies. And down here, this will be a picture of me, and this is going to stay sunflower picture. So and then we got a cow, a cat with a top hat, that cat, cat books, that cat, and a plant, and then some butterflies. And this just looks so cute. And then those, and then that cord that goes to the TV or whatever, that cat is playing with that dog's ears. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually fill all of the slots with cats or have one slot the dog. Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe, I don't know. I know I want to keep that dog as like the house lap dog, but this is supposed to be a sheep dog. I don't know if I, maybe I should give her a dog. I mean, all of her dogs have recently died, so... I'll give her, I'll, I'll replace that statue sheepdog with an actual sheepdog. TV. Alright, let's go upstairs. Now this is what I have of her room so far. And she also has a Vulpix, because why not? That kitten is playing with the Vulpix. Um, a little fireplace. Again, not finished. I know this is a guitar, but unfortunately we don't have the bass skill in The Sims, so she has to learn to play the guitar. 
And so this uh, this has a blue, pink, and white theme. Got some more cats. That cat's probably about to jump on the bed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then over here, we have a cat, a kitten, trying to get to the flowers. Got some more cats. On the outside, we have a squirrel eating the bird seed. Shame on you, squirrel! I have to check the normals for my sweet leaf trees. Um, they might be the reason, the normals might be the reason why they're not showing up as pink as I would like them. <sighs> I put her easel out here. She has a door up here, obviously. Her easel out here so that she can paint with maximum inspiration by looking out on the horizon slash out there where the water is. That's water. Good job, Ritana. Oh, that's my treehouse. Um, and then she also has a bubbles crack hidden in her way too big of a chimney. I need to make I need to make a smaller version of this chimney because this is the chimney I need. It's just really big. So, and if I'm correct, close enough. <laughs> Screw you. Who cares? <laughs> so that's um, Blapple Bliss Acres. I don't think I made any changes to Totally Toys or Sweet Salvation. I might have made changes to Totally Toys, but I have other things to show you. So! Ray Tana, why is this video called Princess Sugar Lump? I will show you. This video is pretty much a show off -y stuff thing because... While I couldn't stream, I had lots of time to make stuff. Stuff and stuff. Stuffity doodah. Miss your friends. Give access to your place to close friends and family with a key. And they'll be sure to pay you a surprise visit. <coughs> Ow. Ow! Again! Ah! Your house has an inventory in build mode where career rewards go! <laughs> okay, where are we going? We are going... Well, before I get to the real stuff that I wanted to show you, I need to show you Wayward City. Specifically, what I started working on yesterday. <sighs> the sad excuse for the Wayward City Amusement Park. In which case, Blood Pond is, like, really close to the amusement park. So, um, unfortunately, the mod I have um, from Seriously Sims doesn't replace the grass in Oasis Springs yet. But um, I asked her about it, and uh, she said, you know, she could work on it eventually. <laughs> so, just waiting. But you gotta see this, dude. You gotta freaking see this! So, this is a residential. It's a resident res residential place. Resident? Why does that sound so weird? Am I saying that word wrong? Self-esteem. Low. Very, very low right now. It's a resident place, <laughs> because I want my circus family to live here. There should be, like, a mod, or EA should just do this, where you can make a venue up to three different venues at once. I think that would be neat, so that you can, like, live at your business. So, the way I'm going to do this is the park is going to be on top and the house is going to be on bottom and I'll just lock the door for everybody but the people in the household. <sighs> Eating poorly made pufferfish nigiri can cause a slight case of death. Hi. 
are you guys doing? Sleeping? Hello? Oh, or be hammock rat? Are you in the hammock? You're so fat. Yay! Take a look at this. Now, since it's always dark in Wayward City, um, it's not supposed to be blue, but, you know, I, like, I haven't been able to find a mod that changes the sky for each world separately, which I desperately need. Now, there are some terrains that it doesn't change, like this stupid dirt terrain, and I know the light colors of the rocks doesn't match, but I really needed it to look more Wayward City-ish. So, I made this texture. It's so gross! <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about the specular, though. I'll have to play around with it. So, none of this stuff is permanent. This roller coaster is supposed to be... I, 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 can't, I can't build the euthanasia coaster. I'm sorry. It's too big. I just don't have the means for that, even if I were to scale everything. Um, so this is my roller coaster. The thing is, is I use the 9 key to raise these up, so if it's moved, everything goes kathunk. Plus, in order to make it fit on the lot, I had to kind of um, move things together. So I decided that this is temporary, especially since the supports go into the track. Other pieces of the track go into the track. Um, I've decided to take all these pieces and I'm going to build the roller coaster out of the pieces in Blender so that I have none of these overlaps. In fact, I need to actually take note of my overlaps. So let's go take some screenshots, shall we? If I have to take notes of the overlaps so that I know where to cut the tracks in. Blender. Raytana, this is riveting. Isn't it though? Like, oh my god. <laughs> I need to make that water red. Because blood. Blood water. And I might make this more exciting in Blender. Depends on what I can manage to get away with. But I'll show you basically what it's supposed to do at its current state. This was not easy. And it's not getting any easier. And that's why I feel like it would just be easier to take the damn thing and build it in a 3D program. Isn't that sad? But I'm getting better at Blender, so... I mean, I just figured out how to use another tool that the person who made Minkie Pie used, uh, and that's going to broaden a lot of horizons. Oh, well... Oh no, I, I do still have to take pictures of these, just so that I know if I overlapped things. Waka waka waka. Anybody been watching the new season of Stranger Things? We're on episode... Four? And I'm like, already oh, is so awesome. But I didn't expect anything less, so... No spoilers in the comments, please. If you haven't watched Stranger Things, I highly recommend you should you watch it. It's on Netflix. Because it is probably one of the most amazing sci-fi TV shows, for lack of a better word. Like ever. Well, I'd say in it be modern because um, I mean, there used to be you know, like, the Twilight Zone. Remember that? Remember how TV used to be good? <laughs> okay, and right here, fade. 
No, you know, Fade. And did I get here yet? I don't think I did. I actually don't remember which way I went. Oh, I went this way. Okay, I went the way that the carts are facing. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm not as dumb as sometimes I am. <laughs> Rajana, why are you hovering over it so that it highlights? So then I know exactly where the seam is. You should fade. Make a loop de loop and pull, and your shoes are looking cool. <sighs> okay. I have taken all of my screenshots. Okay. So basically, what it's supposed to do is it's a. It, I know it, it's like. This is why I kind of want to try and make it more dynamic and blender, but right here, it's supposed to go woo up a little bit, woo around here, it's just woo, boring, 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 up a little bit, we drop around, getting up speed, going up, going around a loop, and all of a sudden, oh my god, I just drop in the water, and you're really scared, oh my god, another loop, and you're like, oh my god, that was a huge adrenaline rush, but I think I can make it better. <laughs> Especially since this long part. I just, I, I was having trouble connecting the beginning to the end. I really was. And I'm like, I gotta, I gotta make it go in a circle. So a couple of the parts are rather frightening. Aside from the sudden drop immediately after the loop. Like how close you get to the track right here. I know they're clipping right now. Uh, I'm gonna make it so that they don't do that. And how close you get right here. And I want this fence to be around the entire park. I don't know how if that's actually going to happen. And so, you know, close. And it's, you know, gonna look rickety. It's gonna look dangerous just because I'm so disappointed I cannot make the euthanasia coaster. I can make a mini version. I can make an itty bitty tiny version. wonder what would happen if I did that. I should try. I should make a little tiny euthanasia coaster and then see how big I can make it with the bracket glitch, which is no longer considered a glitch. Okay, and I want to make a smaller version of this fountain because this is just large and in charge. Anyway, okay, so now, now we're going. Now we're, now we're going. On the next long loading screen, I need to refill my water cup. Believe it or not, I'm walking around. I never thought I could trick or treat. Okay, so remember when I was building that Mermaid Cove thing? Well, I lost a lot of it in my accidental um, save-delete, and I really didn't want to start over, so I uh, saw this a lot on Mod The Sims and decided to turn it into um, Mermaid Cove. So the basic shape and majority of it is not mine. I added stuff onto it and I turned it into a house. Let me go get some water.
Okay. So this mermaid family has six children, and I know a lot of you on my last, um, on my YouTube stream, were questioning the, um, the limitations to how many children a household can have. I haven't worked out all the kinks yet. What I'm thinking is it's going to be not just quadrant specific, but species specific. Because, uh, let's face it, a half cat is probably going to have a litter of children. Or even more, a cat person is going to have a litter of children. A fish person is going to lay a bunch of eggs. And mermaids are technically half fish. <laughs> mermaids. <laughs> so... No more questions on it right now. It's one of those things where I, it's it's just um, an idea that's kind of in the floatsies. That means it's floating around in my head, I guess. I just made it up. I don't know why. <laughs> um, and uh, you know, when I when I work it out, I'll be more specific. Come on, man. Oh. You know what really sucks? My, the quadrant that I have that is the main that has the main beach is Clearwater Park, but I have like three Clearwater Park worlds, and one I'll have Granite Falls, so they'll have a Smilesville, and the Smilesville's Happy District is just sad because it only has four lots, but the new world is a coastal wor co coastal world, and I'm like, son of a. And I was supposed to be like, I need another Smilesville world. So, I mean, the ocean's got to stretch other places. There can't be just one ocean, right? There can't be just one beach. So, I gotta figure it out. And I also have another problem. On this lot where the mermaids are, I, on my other save, was building the grocery store. I did not realize I was building it on the same lot. And I don't have another free lot of the same size. So I've no idea what I'm doing right now. Rajana, do you ever know what you're doing? What's been removed? I didn't put any not safe for work stuff here, did I? Why would I have been? I don't know. Okay. So this is Mermaid Cove now. It's, uh, it's a small, smaller beach in the middle of a not beach area. Um, since they are mermaids, they cannot get dirty. Um, it's sunny, so happy, and they have kids. And this is a nice kid-friendly place. So, um, there weren't any plants in the pool or anything, so all these rocks, all this genius, and um, most of the plants were set by the person who made this. I added on everything else. So over here, you could see a person getting a snack, getting a drink. A closer look, it's actually Maria from Silent Hill 2 that I recolored! Yay! She's obviously a Smilesvillian. <laughs> I am not sure what I'm going to call her yet. I, I don't know if, I, if I'm actually going to make a sim based off of this recolor or not. Probably not, but I just think it's funny. Okay, so since this is in Clearwater Park, this place obviously doesn't um, serve alcoholic beverages. Um, so anything you get would just be like candy beverages, um, regular sodas, or like stuff that you can't get out of this, these soda machines, you know, like, and then vir virgin versions of alcoholic drinks. Why are those so small? I thought those grew. Whatever. So we got some picnic tables, some lounge chairs where people are lounging. Some aminals like lizards, rabbits, squirrels, birds, um, dodo birds, watermelon. Um, with some of these tufts of grass here uh, are ducks that swim. And I have some liberated logs, driftwood. They're not going to have any room in their family for dogs or cats, so I don't even think I could make it an aquatic dog or cat with the new expansion pack. This dog is a lab, probably looking forward to doing some swimming. Um, some sandcastles, 
This dog was chasing a baseball that the little boy put in his inventory. And then this rug has not been placed yet. <laughs> um, little campfire. This squirrel is eating. Num 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 num. Whoever was sitting here has binoculars. Sandcastle. A uh, little kitty pool for two-legged toddlers that cannot yet swim in this little cove here. Um, there's also a lot of rats running around, um, so I put a little couple of rats over here. Um, oh, 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 oh! There's an oddish hiding somewhere in this plant area. I'll give you a second. Tell me where the oddish is, YouTube watchers. <laughs> um, there's a bird bath over here, which I'm surprised is actually empty. I'm not sure how to make water. Um, grass. Goose. Gooses. I should actually raise this log up because I don't think logs float. Well, I don't know. They're kind of heavy. Maybe that's okay. Maybe the log that I raised up on top of the water on my place was too high. Was it on my place or was it somewhere else? Squirrels. This log thing. Twigs. Um. Oh, a public bathroom. What's that? Oh, I thought that was a pipeline. I'm like, what is that doing there? There was something over here. Move, move, move. Maybe not. Um, there are lizards hidden around these areas. There's another dodo bird. This is a waterfall. I didn't make the waterfall, of course. <laughs> um, mushrooms. There's a gecko sticking to the side of the rock. Um, this woman fell asleep with a book on her face. And there's a sunbathing lizard right there. So yeah, we've gone all the way around. Oh, except for this little island right here. So this shows that mermaids live down here. And this counts as part of the water. So I tried to show that with the floating of this, putting the fish in. And I also have hidden fishing spots that are actually little nails. Which I'm honestly not sure where it went but they're they're nails oh here's one so you can actually see the fish swimming in here not from underneath the water and some dumb fishermen left their hat here and also left their fish still in the water so any other fish can just come in and be like gulp um garden gnome hammock This dolphin is sort of jumping out of the water. I might make it a little higher. I don't have a realistic splash or anything to make it look like it's actually like savoosh, <gasps> that sound. All right, let's go underwater. So we got more dolphins. Um, we got lots of plants that I put in. Um, like I said, this was all empty and then that grows, I guess. Bubbles. Um, shells. Fishies. Sea slug. A dead fish. Crabby. Bubbles. Shells. A skull. Super scary. And piratey. Plants, plants, plants. Plants, 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 plants. Sea turtle. Goldfish in salt water? Yeah, I don't exactly know how the water works yet. Gigantic space rock. Space rock! And then over here, more plants. I could have sworn there was, there's something hidden around here. Oh, a shelter with weird looking eyes and some bones. Now I was going to put a bridge over here, but it did not look good, so, I mean, you can swim to it. They're mermaids. <laughs> Other people can swim. 
Oh, 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 oh! Lobster. And I think that's it for this area. Except for the fish in here, fish, 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 bubbles, plants, etc. Now, we get to the inside. So, let's pretend that these aren't open in the top. Let's pretend they have, like, glass caps or something. So that they can grow land plants underwater. Oh my god, it's revolutionary. Anyway, so we got some more hydrospheres. I just thought they were so pretty, and I thought it would be a good idea, just the cutest idea to to have land plants underwater. <laughs> so, okay. With this house, we're kind of following Spongebob rules. Kind of. So, half Spongebob rules. Um, where is the... That's the bridge. Okay, so we're still in here. Um, rug. Some stuff on the walls. An easel. So obviously fire can't exist. We're not going that far. Hey, if we're underwater, how does a fire... <laughs> um, not finished with this bathroom yet. Realistically, mermaids, being fish, would probably go to the bathroom anywhere. I don't exactly know how mermaid toilet works. I haven't figured out how mermaid towels work. Or anything. Haven't figured it out. Just let it be for now. <laughs> okay. And then they walk out here and go, 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 go. And, um, I mean, this water wall is just to show that they're underwater. I don't know if I'm going to make versions of these walls with, um, water marks on them to make them look, you know, more underwater. Or if I'm just going to leave it because I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I put fishing spots here, too, so you could see fishes swimming. And um, I'm in the process of liberating debug fish so that I can actually put them in as uh, decorations. This is sort of like an outside um, living room. I haven't organized it all yet, but there's a TV right there. This is actually a bench, some chairs. Um, so most of these plants were set here by the person who made this lot. But I did put other things in, like this cedra. Cedra, right? No. Kingdra. Cedra is the... Right? No! Oh my god. I haven't been in Pokemon lore for so long. It has to be cedra, right? Then what's the other one? Oh my god, I feel so dumb! Where's my Pokemon folder? <laughs> Sorry, this is just going to bug the crap out of me if I don't figure it out. Water... Okay. Well, I can't... Do-do-do-do. Okay, Horsey, then Cedra, then Kingdra. Okay, I was right. Self-esteem, solo. Okay. Wow. All right. <laughs> that didn't just happen. <laughs> okay. And then this leads to one of the secret lots. And there's a door over here. And for some reason, I accidentally forgot to move the rocks back over these. I think the reason why was because I was going to change the color of all the lights blue. So this is part of their home. Let's go to the front. It's like the outside of an, uh, of an apartment, sort of. So this is another pool, but it's still supposed to be underwater. <laughs> yeah. Illusions! These rocks have lights on them. This is the doorbell. It's a ship bell. Alright, so... This, um... It's one of the entrances. 
down to below. Then you can go over here, which um, I'm going to make this room into to a kind of a storage room. That's why all these crates are s sat haphazardly right there. So let's go into the house, which is far from done. Especially since I just got a bunch more coastal stuff. Alright, but let's start out with the rooms we do have done. I could have sworn... Why did I not put the octopus sandbox in here? I'm not sure. Unfortunately, uh, at the time I couldn't remember the mom's name. It starts with a K. So I wanted this thing to go here, but it doesn't have a K, so I'm going to end up deleting that. Um, we got another fisherman's hat, um, got a pirate sword, some other stuff, um, some nice little rocks that they found, underwater functional camera somehow. <laughs> now this is supposed to be birth control, but it sunk into the nightstand, so I'm going to have to use um, another slot for that. Um, those are the curtains, I guess. Um, do, 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 say I'm um, a lot. Some stuff. A journal. A harp. Um, that functions as a guitar, actually. Some jewelry, some shelves. This gnome. A toddler fashion magazine? I don't know. <laughs> now the mother takes birth control now because six kids. That's it. <laughs> I just... I'm not sure... I imagine mermaids have, you know, relations the same way fish do. You know, female lays out her eggs and the male fertilizes them within the water. <laughs> so, um, seahorse, other stuff. This is the, the desk. Some office stuff. Fun, fun, fun in the sun. Um, do, 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 do. Another hydrosphere. So, TV. Oh, I have to replace these two photos with two photos of their children. And I think that's pretty much it. So, their room is 99% completed. What is the next room that's completed? I know I had one that I completed. Was it the... It wasn't the bathroom, was it? No, the bathroom's not done. There was one more room that I completed. It's definitely not the toddler room, is it? No, that's a mess. Huh. Well, I thought there was one I completed. Okay. So, let's look at what we have of the living room so far. Now the only things I'm sure of that are going to stay there are these couches, this TV stand, this TV, and the stuff on the TV stand. For these photo frames, I'm going to recolor them with pictures of their family. Um, I want to make family poses specifically for mermaids because they try like like if the I have a pose where I tried to put the toddler on the dad's back, but one leg was around his neck and the other leg was around his neck, and I'm like, no, tail. <laughs> this is gonna stay here, and this bookshelf is gonna stay here. This is gonna stay here. Um, I didn't have any more sea blinds, sea curtains, so I just put blinds there. Um, this is gonna stay here, and those. And I have to remake their their hot water place. It's not a fireplace. Then this is a a little fort. <laughs> go, 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 go. Thank you. And then got an, another hydrosphere, um, a seal, etc. This is the kitchen so far. Just little fishies now. And, oh yeah, I had that window, I had this curtain, 
up here for some reason. I needed to move it down. Um, I know in The Little Mermaid, you know, they were like, oh my god, you know, uh, don't eat your fish friends. You know, that kind of thing. But let's face it, fish eat other fish. So a mermaid's diet is going to... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? A mermaid? I just had it. It was at the tip of my tongue. A mermaid's diet is going to contain... It's not... Uh, contain wasn't the word I was looking for. Contain mostly fish and underwater plants. Seafood and underwater plants. That's just how it is. So yes, they eat fish. <laughs> um, again, not finished. Um, so those are obviously where the toddlers sit. There's a bull here. Okay. <laughs> um, next. Oh, and I love this. I love this. These are the same kitchen alobi fridge, kitchen alobi cabinet. We're trying to go with the alobi theme here, but they, they're the same color, but you'd never be able to tell because they don't render light the same. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that great? Ugh! And the same with the oven. I believe that's an alobi oven. Yeah, it is. Same with the oven. Sad. Okay, so moving on. This is going to be the teenage girl's room. This is a pretty princess. So she's very girly. Um, she's got an octopus chandelier. And this beautiful bed. I lucked out when I found this mermaid, this specific mermaid set. Um, some shell curtains. Some lovely, lovely stuff. Again, it's not finished. Um, I have this set of recolored um, stuff that have the same theme going on. Um, do 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 do. So makeup, frames, clothes, magazines, makeup, school, etc. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm not sure if I'm going to recolor this with stuff that she would personally like. Probably not. Just because I'm lazy. Okay. So remember, this is in Clearwater Park. In Clearwater Park, the air has a certain chemical compound that makes it so that extreme negative emotions are not felt and um, positive, positive emotions are felt at a comfortable level. However, there are some people, like their teenage son, who think life is too good and become wannabe, you know, sad people, like poser goths and such. So, it's, it's not very often that this happens, you know, with rebellious teenagers. They're actually called Clearwater Rebels. Um, they, they have this mindset where, and they don't have others either, and even if they did, others can live peacefully in Clearwater Park without the host or the others taking medication. Um, but sometimes you will have these teenagers who decide to have a, re a rebellious phase, uh, let's face it, we've all had them. And Clearwater Rebels pretend to be sad. Pretend to be sad, dark, depressed, hardcore, whatever. They pretend they have a shitty life even though they totally don't. What's going on with the... The lobs aren't the same. And he's also a slob, so I have a bunch of trash and stuff. Um... The reason why they do this is I, I think they feel like they don't have enough conflict in their lives when they're always feeling comfortable. Um, and they just don't want to be like everybody else for a period of time in their life. So, yeah. That's the teenage son. Okay. I'm going to show what I have at the bathroom so far. So we got two little toilets, some slowpoke toilets. Um, I don't exactly know where this magazine rack is going. Um, you know, fish stuff. Okay, now on to... Okay, so the girl's most likely 16. The boy, the teenage boy, is most likely 14. 
the little girl, I would say, is probably about eight or nine. And uh, so she's going to have a bunch of little girly stuff. Cute, colorful, girly stuff. And she's a little artist. And cute. Very, very, very cute. The boy is most likely about 10 or 11, and he has a pirate theme. Arr, everything we know about pirates is wrong. <laughs> so he's he's got pirate stuff going on uh, and sailor stuff. Yo ho ho. Um. Yeah. So that's him. And then the toddlers share a nice big room that has a sand floor so that they are, you know, constantly entertained by the sand floor. <laughs> Why does that always... That bed always does something, and I only catch it at the corner of my eye, and I can never figure out... Yeah! Mattress is gone. There it is. It's gone. Does this one do it too? No. Because it's not the same bed. Die! Oh, carp sticks. <sighs> I was using the stripper poles to extend this to the freaking ceiling. <sighs> I've really got to move those stripper poles. <laughs> um, got some um, tadpole frog evolution uh, lifespan thing. So I have to organize all of these toys and decorations and stuff. But the little girl and little boy... Um, sleep in the same room. I imagine that the boy is a little older than the girl. I wanted, I want the girl to be the youngest. So, oh my god. These are clippings, so from afar this cat looks like it has, like, human legs. <laughs> it's weird. And then they have this little dollhouse over here. And I know the sand doesn't match with this. I will figure it out. And I'm, I, I'm sad because I have this little Squirtle and this little Blastoise, but I don't have a tiny War Turtle! I mean, I, I personally don't even like that evolutionary line. I mean, I don't hate it, but I don't like it. But, I mean, you can't have those and then not have the War Turtle. And then Dratini with weird eyes. So. I don't think that's going to be a real Dratini, especially since it looks so fake. You know, not like the real Dratini. I have a Dragonair. Oh my god, I have to show you this sad excuse for a Dragonair. It's gonna take a moment. The person who made this Dragonair and their Tangela does not know what Tangela or Dragonair looks like. And I was so disappointed. And I'm like, I've gotta fix it, but I don't know how to fix it. Huh, I have a bad habit of going too long without water. I get all thirsty. I'm not, I, I like, I'm not going to say dehydrated because realistically, you, yeah, dehydration is actually a big problem. So here's Dragonair. Now, when I was looking at it, I'm like, something's wrong. Something is really wrong with this Dragonair. And it took me a while, and I don't know why it took me a while. But it's missing its head thingies. Here's, um... Here's a Dratini. They all have really weird eyes. Like, some of them have fainting eyes, squinty eyes, or, like, eyes that look like casino slots. <laughs> so, that poor Dragonair is missing stuff. And I've got to show you the sad excuse for a Tangela, too. Sad. Come on. Move. Move. Where is it? Here it is. <sighs> Looks like a toupee that grew legs. <laughs> That's how it came. And I don't know what to do about it. I don't even remember where I got it from. They don't have their website or anything or anything, so I can't be all like, Uh, hey, uh, you need to fix the Tangela and the Dragon. Eh? Please do that. <laughs> okay, now the outside of their house. So I put a bunch of gems and precious rocks and fossils. 
I am going to bring this down. Okay. So rocks, rocks, rocks. Clusters of gems. That geode. Bubbles, rocks, grass. Um, I'm not done with the outside, by the way. I still need to put more creatures and more plants. But mainly, I set out the rocks, some shells. Fossil? Fossil rock. This is something in the sea, and I don't remember what it is. I think it's supposed to be a sea monster. Da -da 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 -da. And Megarine Luca in her octopus form. Or octopus mascot. I don't exactly know how that works. Oh, I didn't even show you the inside of the hall. So we got this little statue. Do 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 do. Do do do. This is the outside of the home. And then the teenage boy locks his door for everybody but himself. And then welcome aboard and a b mailbox. This isn't like the real mailbox. The real mail ma mailbox is probably outside. I don't know. I don't think this functions. I need to recolor it though. Oh, up 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 up. Another doorbell. And I'm not sure if anything is actually over here. Nope, not yet. Anyway, moving on. Rock, Luca, house. Sorry. Okay, so over here we have a little treasure chest, spewing treasures. Um, I need to situate this little bracelet so that it looks like it's hanging out of the treasure chest. And a golden skull. I know that's a sugar skull, but it is a it's it's gold. So treasure. And our pirates. Then this glowing crater spewing bubbles. Underwater crater. Fishies. I used a lot of the alien plants as um underwater plants. There's a horsey with casino slot eyes. I don't get it. Um more sea turtles again. I need to put um oh there's smuggy puss. Need to put more creatures and stuff. More fishies, lobster, shells. Do 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 do. So basically though, um I mean I don't know if these are actually walls or if they're supposed to be out there. It's it's hard to make some place look like it's in the ocean. Another giant sea space rock. Something that's in the ocean and, you know, make it look believable. More of those saltwater goldfish. <laughs> Anchor, fishies, gems, do do do, fishies, 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 gems, fishies. Here's the Kingler. What are your eyes like? You have normal eyes. Good for you. Another this fossilized. I think this is a sandworm or something. I don't know. No, no, that's that's a rock. This is a this is a fossil. And then this rock, which doesn't like the shadow. <laughs> and I think no, this is a sandworm fossil. That one's actually open. And I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So, that's Mermaid Cove. I have one more lot to show you before I show you some Sims. Including Princess Sugarlump, my witch, the video is named after. Eating with chopsticks isn't easy at first, but just stick with it. Okay, 
So we actually have to play as them, and I will play as the daughter. Whose hair I still need to do. Oh! <gasps> I have to show you something in their house anyway. I finally fixed the couch! Yay! Oh, I fixed the stump, too. The, the, the plain old stump is no longer magical. <laughs> I'm learning! I'm learning, guys. Guys, I'm gonna be 27. My body feels like it's, like, in its 50s already, but... Jeez. <laughs> I'm gonna be 27. I don't even look forward to my birthdays anymore. I'm just looking forward to this expansion pack. You're late for school? Late for school? Well, then pause! Pause this. Go to school! You'll, you'll go to school in a minute. Okay. So, this is, uh, Smilesville Lost Woods. And, um, since it looks a lot like the lost forest I found in my, in my dream world, that's what this is going to be. Uh, I wanted, wanted it to exist in Cephalon anyway. So, the lost woods... Uh, you can actually enter it in different places around Encephalon, not just Smilesville. Um, if you've listened to my dream journals, what tree is this? Cherry tree! If you've listened to my dream journals, um, you'll know about this dream where I found a place in the forest where um, children were s disappearing through some kind of invisible wall. And when you go through the wall, you suddenly end up in a different version of the forest. And, um, later found out that you cannot enter this version of the forest unless you have honest intentions and are pure of heart. Um, so that's what the Smilesville Lost Woods is. Now, it's a place that has very high sugar content in, in the soil. Uh, there are a lot of places in Smilesville where the sugar content is really heavy. So, um, more sugar plants grow, uh, in he more heavily concentrated areas. And also, sh um, candy animals, like this chocolate rabbit and these chocolate frogs over here. And then we have, like, these little fairies in, in here. And a blue duck! A rubber ducky. I've not decided if that rubber ducky is actually a rubber ducky or if it's a duck that looks like a rubber ducky. <laughs> A little owl. So we got candy plants everywhere. Candy, candy, candy. Um, birdhouse. Uh, sweet mushrooms. Candy. A unicorn. Um, candy bushes. Candy rocks. Sweet stuff, sweet stuff. Yum, 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 yum. A cookie. Giant gumballs. Um, whatever species of deer this is that's sugar animals because they come in cute colors. I believe they're Jenny Sims, but... And then a lizard, colorful lizard, some more mushrooms, candy cane trees. Um, this, you can sit on that. Um, some cupcakes. More, more, more. This creature, and I hate this tree right here. This tree has such a close fade range. I need to go in and look at the warehouse, look at the tuning or whatever of a low fade tree so that I can do that because that's just annoying. Here's more of those deer. Um, now these are again the gems and stuff but in this area they're actually rock candy. So take that! <laughs> now you can't actually live on the secret lots. You can build on them using the cheat uh, BB enable free build. Um, BB dot enable rebuild. Uh, so I don't have a functional mailbox. I just put another one of these up here that I'm most likely going to recolor. This is like um, the outdoor sort of dining area, and I put this in case of rain. Um, let's take a look at the full castle. Now the lot itself is really disappointingly small. Oops, full castle. So in order for the you know, to make a castle, I had to make it as tall as it possibly could be. 
So this is Sugar Dream Castle, and it's got lots of candy decorations, and the walls are, have sparklies as if it was sugar, and there's a balloon that I have to recolor, um, which um, Princess Sugarlump uses to travel. I also have to recolor these flags. Now they're supposed to be animated. Let me take a look. Guess not. I mean, I think they say they're animated. I don't know. We've got a um, bubble, bubbles crack in the chimney, of course. Um, a clock. Lots of cake stuff. Uh, some of these I have to recolor to match the castle. Got some sticky lollipops around and stuff. It just looks so cute. And go around, go around, go around. We got a gingerbread man. Whoa! And and stuff. This place isn't finished. The outside is finished, aside from a couple of recolorings needed to be. Um, but it is not finished on the inside. The first level is finished. So I guess I'm going to need this again. So this is the hall. Um, the entrance hall. Um, she has some sweets and some stuff. Some nice little furniture. Um, just sweetie sweet sweets. I need to recolor the, um, these curtains too. Um, I'm probably going to add a swatch to this bench because it came with a sweet pack, but pretzels aren't sweet unless they're covered in chocolate, so I'm probably going to make like dessert swatches for those pretzels. Pretzels, pretzels, pretzels. I can't say pretzels, pretzels, pretzels really quickly. Anyway, so here is a coat rack. And she also has a pantry down here for just extra food storage. So there's, there's the stairs. Go in, go. So it's got another shelf up here, but lots of snacks, sugary snacks, jams, candy, drinks, soda, sweet, sweet, sweet. Nice, nice, nice. Down here is going to be the basement, and um, she's got um, a little, a couple little lounge sort of areas, and then... Um, She's a seamstress, so she's got that. I think I might add a white swatch to that. I don't... I'm not sure. Then again... I don't... Actually, the brown looks good. The brown kind of gives a chocolatey thing. So I put a bunch of these sweet mirrors everywhere. I literally took all of my candy stuff and utilized it. <laughs> oh, I see. Yes, you are... You are part of the fountain, aren't you? Oh, I forgot to mention these cakes um, spout water also. But I, I'm thinking of changing the water emitters that I put in there. So, teacups. And just yummy, yummy stuffs. Oh, there is a cotton candy machine over here. Okay. Going up and up again. So this floor is almost done. We're going into the bathroom! So the f bathroom has chocolatey walls and floor, and we've got some makeup, some brushes, a pretty princess tub, and <laughs> this toilet, I believe, comes with get together, it, or city living, I'm not sure, but it looks like a toilet splattered with something questionable. <laughs> so I'm going to make it into a toilet with frosting. I'm going to turn it into a dessert. <laughs> I just think that's so funny. I'm like, did you guys think? Did you think? You didn't think. Donut lights. Um, there's going to be like body wash and stuff. Cupcake. Just, it's cute. And then this is her bedroom. Now, her species is relatively uh, shorter um, than humans. Now, this is actually a toddler bed, so she can't actually sleep in it. It's just for decoration. I'm probably going to take this frame and make it an, uh, an adult size frame for my liking because it's super duper cute, but um, I mean it fits well here. So and she's um, got a gaming console, 
a GameCube TV, uh, lights, just cute stuff. So cute! Um, candy! Candy, I need to add a swatch to this too, it's not colorful enough. More candy, 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 candy. Gummy bear, chair, some jewelry, bubblegum balm machine, candles, some shoes, nail polish, perfume, toy box, um, a purse. What's up here? Gummy bear lights. And then over here is sort of like the living room. So there's a cupcake guitar. That's what it's called, I guess. So, um, her TV, another gaming console, some Pocky, um, another one of these banana sundae things. There's gonna be some treats up here. Um, picture of ice cream. Ah, God, I, I just... Every time I look at my candy stuff, I'm just like, it's delicious, and I want it all the time, always. So, um, here's her desk. This is the cutest lamp in the world. It's, it's pouring hot chocolate. Oh my god, it's so cute! Calm down, Raytana. Oh my god. You know what I really hate about the fence and this railing? Is that they're not shaded the same. <laughs> and I don't know how to fix the shading on, on that stuff, so... Yeah! Ugh, I hate the cameras. The cameras are the bane of my existence. I'm kidding, but, you know. Then up here is going to be the kitchen slash main dining area. Because if you go over here, there's a dining table. And they're all going to have spoon chairs. Um, and then, and then move, 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 move. Another dining table. And it's also going to have spoon chairs. Um, they have cookie lights. There's a little bar counter here for more eating. And then this is going to be the actual kitchen. So we got a, it's small, it's quaint, but it's good enough for her. Um, espresso machine, oven slash stove, that's the refrigerator, and there's a sink. So, nice place. Obviously not done yet. And there are little areas to come out and walk around, and then there's a bigger area right here, that's sort of a balcony. Up! And then this is the very top level that's accessible. Um, so here's a little sitting room right here. I'm probably going to put some bookcases or something. And then you can come out again, uh, and this is a full walk around type do hickey, but the walls are um, high enough for to keep privacy. So, can walk around and stuff. And uh, you can also lounge in here or in here. And then, of course, the roof. Very disappointed in your flags. You're supposed to be waving! I mean, like, I can't even click on it. I don't, I don't know what to do. Okay. So, I think that's it for her castle. Beep. Let's go home. Whatever your name is. Aloe. Your name is Aloe. Let's go home and send you to school. So I can show you the couch! Oh, hello! Alright. Hee <laughs> Okay, little woman. Go to 
go to go go to school. Oh, it was off to school. Okay. Here's my couch. Here's my couch and the alpha works now. Hooray. Ah. <laughs> so now the flowers don't have big black blocks around them. Yes. Lovely couch. Now I can now I know how to do it and now I can make actual plant furniture. <laughs> so yeah. Um oh. No, stop talking to your husband. How are you not friends with your children? There we go. Come plant this. Take care of your plants. Why is this still out? Where's your trash? Uh, then again, you could just put that in the fridge. Still, scales, skills don't show up. Uh, I need to figure out why. I need to find... Where are you? Okay, woman? Why aren't you planning? What do you mean? What's in the way? This? You think this is in the way? Ugh. It's under the stairs. You're... Okay. Come here. I'll fix it later. Come here. I said teleport. Thank... Aloe is grabbing her lunch from her backpack when she notices something red inside. It's a note shaped like a heart. The words, you are cute, written on it and nothing else. She thinks it might be a new boy who, uh, the new boy, who always seems to stare. Does she ask him or wait and see? Wait and see. That's so cute. Okay. Plant your plants. Miss plant. I need to make more plant sims so it doesn't seem like they're the only ones. <laughs> now that I'm able to have plant sims actually have hair. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Why did you pl plant the middle one? You're weird. <laughs> oh, that one's a tree. <laughs> That's okay. So I might put that like in between here. Okay, water it. I might redo their kitchen. I'm not sure yet. Because I have things like... Like a tree where you can... That, that functions as a fridge. I have some wells that function as fridges. I don't know. We'll have to see. I haven't worked on this lot in a long time, so... But I have a lot of cool stuff that I can use. Move, 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 move. Oh. Are you done? You done playing with your plants? Can I move these in the lane? No, I cannot. Um, let's see. Do you have any other plants? I don't think I gave you any other plants to water. Plant, 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 plant. So obviously in The Sims, I have a tree to go to. Smile of Seville's Lost Woods, but in Encephalon it would be the invisible wall thing. So, um, ba -ba 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 -do 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 -do. I don't know why I did that. I can't save. <laughs> Ooh, do -do 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 -do. I have a specific place on my lower back slash side that always itches. 
It's annoying. So I end up scratching it to the point where there's like red bumps and scabs and stuff. It's like I'm already covered in scabs as it is. Stop itching. I use hydrocortisone cream and it doesn't work as well as I would like it to. cute. Sometimes my, when my rats are tired, they, they lay down real flat, but when they want to move somewhere, they're so lazy, they don't get up. They just kind of crawl along the floor of the cage. <laughs> they look like little slugs. Okay, so first and foremost, I need to show you Princess Sugarlump. And for schnitz and giggles, I probably should read you her bio too. This is so empty. I need more spots. Walls? Who's walls? Oh yeah. Um, I cannot show you him. Well, I could show you his yeah, I did make safe for work outfits. Okay, so I need to show you Princess Sugar Lump first. Sugar Lump. Oh, I haven't played her. Princess Sugar Lump. She's really cute. I try to make her as cute as possible. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay. Halverson? You must be a random townie. Okay. So let's go on. Let's go in and see Princess Sugarlump. It's kind of got a load to where it doesn't have much lag, so I'm going to go ahead and read you her bio. So Princess Sugarlump is a young, uh, is a cute young lady born into royalty. Since Encephalon is no longer a monarchy, remaining uh, royal families are simply highly, highly respected, influential, and usually play a part in politics, basically being a step below the mayors. If a mayor passes away, a member of royalty in that quadrant will take over the position until a new election. However, Princess Sugarlump isn't exactly interested in politics. Her family's castle exists in Smilesville's Lost Woods, which you can only enter if you have honest intentions and a pure heart. It is a magical place where the sugar is highly concentrated so much uh, so that candy plants and animals thrive with no conflicts. The castle, Sugar Dream Castle, seems small, but it's tall, perfect for small gatherings. It's beautiful, decorated with sweets to make it look like a giant cake. There's also a hot air balloon for travel. King Frosting and Queen Sweetheart were Sugar Lump's parents, but unfortunately they passed away from an extremely rare illness that Smiles Villains can catch if they don't eat enough eat enough sweets, called sugar scurvy. Small civilians are usually the only ones affected by the illness because they have evolved over hundreds of years to genetically require sugar in their bodies, no matter what species they are. The king and queen were unfortunate enough to have gotten lost at sea during an expedition in Clearwater Park. They only packed enough food to last um, the three days they were supposed to be out to help the mayor tend to a sick gummy shark that had drifted too far from its home in the sweet part of the ocean. Due to a storm and faulty compass, their ship got lost and drifted into the wayward hexagon, where they were cursed to sail endlessly with no land in sight for three years. They eventually found the only way out of the hexagon and returned to land, having survived on the sugarless sea life in the bloody part of the ocean, but it took its toll. They landed in Wayward City and were quickly taken to the nearest hospital. Wayward City uh, hardly had the means to... Actually, that hardly has the means to care for Smiles Villains with sugar, sugar scurvy, so the king and queen were given sugar IVs and transferred to the next nearest hospital in Clearwater Park. Princess Sugarlump, who was living alone for three years with her poodle Pop Pop, was alerted that her parents had been found, and she rushed to the hospital to see them. They had been the only Smiles Villains on board, so they were the only ones who got sugar scurvy. Even though the doctors did all they could, uh, too much damage had been done, and Frosting and Sweetheart passed away, leaving their daughter the last living member of their bloodline. She stayed in Clearwater Park for a few months so that it was easier to deal with her grief, thinking that when she went home, the pain would be gone. She was mistaken, mistaken and she cried for many more months in her, ca in her castle. 
A year later, Sugar Lump decided that she couldn't live uh, her life in misery, so she took Pop Pop and began traveling to the other subquadrants in Smilesville to help, help her move on and continue enjoying life. Sometimes she'd travel using her balloon, other times she'd take land transportation, but she was too afraid to travel by water. Sugar Lump always kept more than enough rations for her and her best friend, and even started traveling around Clearwater Park. She returns to Sugar Dream Castle when she feels homesick, but when she's gone, she keeps the doors unlocked for other people to enter and dine on her sweets. She can trust anyone who finds their way into, lo uh, into the Lost Woods because of the circumstances in which to find the forest in the first place. Princess Sugarlump is not actually human, but she resembles one. The differences are her pupil-less eyes, her natural pink hair, her slightly pointed ears, and her entire skin is highly glossy, as well as a closer shade to pink than usual ca Caucasian humans. Her species also grows much smaller than, than, than an average human, so she's very short and petite. A creature like her is called a patina, and they evolved separate from humans. So basically, you had, you know, the line of homo sapiens and before that but they split off they kind of forked off um their shiny skin repels sunlight to ensure they don't get too hot and their sense of hearing and smell are heightened um however their sight is a bit inferior to humans as they have no pupils so they can't adjust to different light levels they are completely blind in darkness and maximum brightness but do well with indoor lighting or golden hour which is when the sun is setting or rising Usually they will have a pet that is able to guide them if needed, but otherwise hearing and smell help uh, patinas get around. Their skin comes in shades of pink uh, and purple, not violet. So purple is a warmer purple, violet is a cool tone toned violet. And their hair can be any color that's not found naturally in humans. Sugar Lump is literally always happy unless she thinks about her parents. Nothing else upsets her though. Uh, though bodies of water remain the only thing that makes her tense. She's fine with pools, baths, and showers, but nothing natural, nothing that goes out to the sea. Other than that, she never gets embarrassed, angry, scared, depressed, or panicked. She's also not very flirty, but that doesn't mean she might fall in love someday. Just like her skin, Princess Sugarlum's clothes are uh, glossy as well, by choice. They're usually very cute and frilly, in shades of pink, purple, blue, or white. Uh, she's also an amazing gardener, and tends to talk to plants as if they were people. Her other hobbies include cooking, baking, singing, piano, violin, painting, writing, reading, and partying. She has never and will never set foot in Wayward City, so she avoids that quadrant during her travels. Pop Pop is an amazingly smart poodle, though poodles are pretty intelligent already. Um, he's actually a trained service dog who is able to tell if his friend is in danger before she does. He is a second pair of eyes to Sugar Lump. He knows her like the back of his paw, and he's just as loyal to her as she is to him. They can even tell what each other is saying despite Pop Pop being unable to speak human languages. Okay, so here's Princess Sugar Lump. She could probably actually be a little mm -hmm. shorter, but again, I can't save on here. So I made this shiny skin. I made a skin that's completely specular and it's super shiny. Um, it does tend to add a shine to most clothing and most clay hairs. That is why I gave her the um, choice to wear shiny clothing. There are some clothes that don't pop up, uh, that don't have the shininess. Most EA clothes doesn't have the shininess. Ah. There are some clothes that take away the specular com completely. So, um, it's kind of versatile, depending on, you know, what you want. So this is her voice. The Tisa Wallake. It's probably a little less, oh my god, but you know. Oh. And because of the height slider, she walks kind of funny, but that's okay. And then, if we take a look at her eyes... You're so short! I'm going to um, make her taller, just for the sake of showing you. Okay, so no pupils. She has a super round face, super doll-like, -li big, big eyes. Um, this is her profile. She's so cute. I actually want to make her tiara um, a little taller. So that's her makeup. And she has freckles too. And then this little blush right here. She's just so cute. Hmm. And I was going to make her teeth a different color, but the different colors I had were too, you know, bright. I wanted just a tint. So I just made her with white teeth. Teeth. Um, she has elongated canines. Um, they evolved with elongated canines for the sake of 
being able to chew through hard candy more easily than humans. So, next is her... I only have one outfit per slot, I think. Uh -huh. This is her formal. So she looks much more princessy. Um, with the skin speckler, sometimes it does strange things like this. But I mean, again, when I release it, it's just a matter of, you know, um, experimenting. Let's take a look at her makeup. Real pretty. She's so cute. Athletic. So, hardly any makeup. Very, very shiny. She always has some sweets in her hand. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then sleep. Mm -hmm. All white. Her socks didn't become shiny, but that's okay. Um, and minimal makeup just to make her lips look um, more colored, more healthy. Party. So she's got pink and blue going on. Pretty. And swim. So, I love this top. I love this top so much. Now it doesn't come with these. These are our Sailor Moon sleeves. <laughs> but, oh and I fixed the feet too. I fixed those feet that had black toenails. Um, turns out the toenails weren't textured on the feet. It wasn't nail polish. Their UVs were out just in the blackness of, of the Sims texture. So I put it over the toenails and I fixed it. I'm like, dude, what were you thinking? <laughs> so, and I didn't bother with different hairstyles oh. because this was specifically um, the hairstyle I wanted to go with and I don't have any matching. But to show you her ears, Let's find something that tucks behind her ears. Oh my god! Okay. So, they are more round. Um, they're lower on the head. Uh, and only slightly, they're at like a, a rounded point. So, and you can see um, her profile better. So, not very much chin. Um, very round face, very round jaw, thin neck, big eyes, sort of a flat face going on there. So, um, basically, patinas can come in different shades. So she's a pale skinned patina, um, others can come in that shade or this shade, or that shade, not that shade. They can come in this shade, or this shade, or, th yeah, that shade, or this shade, mm. or that shade. So, ooh, so yeah, and um, this may look like normal Caucasian skin, but if you compare it to this, or this, it's more pink. So, yep. Now mm -hmm. to exit. So that's Princess Sugarlump. And I'm really looking forward to giving her a poodle. I'm gonna give her a cute little poodle. Name him Pop Pop. You know, this would be faster if you didn't take so long. Learn your romantic destiny from the romance guru at the romance festival, romantic. Oh, cute rod. Are you snuggle muffins? Sort of snuggle muffins. What does snuggle eat rats? Baraza. <laughs> okay. Um, there are some things I still need to do to Yulebot and Father Claus. Um, oh, these are unplayed. I think I have some stuff that I can fix for Masley. 
Um, I don't remember if I showed you um, Sailor Dark Moon, um, her final edited version. Mm. Um, because I found their school uniforms. For those of you watching on YouTube, if you've watched this long, um, and have watched my other streams, did I show you their actual uniforms? Like, I had made them uniforms, but then the person who made these sailor outfits, um, released their actual uniforms. Let me know. Anything else? Not, not in here. Let's go in and play it. Go! Hurry! <laughs> Get on with it! Oh my god. It shouldn't be taking this long. <sighs> Where's my desktop? Fanny cube. Oh my god. Okay. So, I can show you him. Yeah, I don't count the bulge as not safe for work, really. I made, uh, I finally finished, um, the femboy bodies. So, he is a, um, a different model, uh, a cross-dresser. Um, no, no, I decided not to make him a model. He's a stripper. He lives in Smilesville, but he strips at, um, Fuzzy Pink Handcuffs, which is a Smilesville-themed, um, mm. strip club in Wayward City, which I cannot show you. <laughs> so, he's a cutie. He's really cute. Just look at his little face. He's so pretty. So, um, here's the femboy body. I don't know if I actually showed it to you, but looks really good. I'm I'm proud of it, especially for how long it took to finish and how much time I had to put into trying to, you know, make it work. How many times I had to start over. <laughs> so he's got a shark tattoo right here, cute little angel Ooh. wings, a cupcake tramp stamp, and some stars. I don't think he has anything else. No, he does not. So, I just put him in these outfits. This is one of my favorites, though. He's so cute. I thought I made that pink. Oh, well. Guess I'll fix it later. And, I mean, this isn't... I'm not sure if this is actually something he'd go into party uh, with. He Basically, I dressed him up with all of the things that I made with my uh, femboy mesh um, to take screenshots. The specular on that is lines. Is it supposed to be lines? I don't know. Hmm. Obviously, he's not going to swim in this. <laughs> so I was just taking screenshots. Um <laughs> There's some not safe for work versions of this. Um, obviously, if I were to show it to you, it wouldn't show anything because it's not in the folder. He'd just have like the default male underwear on. Um, okay, <sighs> go. Come on.
Okay. I need to save this family to my library anyway, so... I was having issues with, uh, with my gallery. If I opened something, I couldn't open anything else. Turns out that um, my <laughs> barrel of potatoes as a fridge was causing the problem. So, nope, nope, that's, that's the girl. I want to show you the parents first. So this is Carrie. I'm going to save this. Come on. Now, I did not make these mermaid tails, but I did convert them uh, for male, children, and toddler. There are some things that, uh, some issues that I'm still having, especially since I also had to make invisible feet for children and toddler. Um, but, similarly to the full specular skin, I made a scaled skin. Oh. Um, now, the face scales right here and right here are not mine, but I added that to my skin. Um, the rest of the scales are mine. So this is her normal every day. Now, unfortunately... <laughs> so. Unfortunately. But, um, yeah, Carrie. And then oh. here's formal. So it's not just all shell bras, guys. Oh, and, uh, uh she wears glasses. I'll show you her eyes in a moment. So, um, athletic, I guess. <laughs> ah, yes, I won't be showing you her eyes. I do, I can, I can. Um. So, with this species of mermaid, um, oh. Well, I didn't even bother to include it. Okay. With this species of mermaid, I'm using these eyes. Um. I haven't exactly figured out the full function of them yet, but um, I imagine in Encephalon there are different species of mermaid um, because there are hell mermaids in Wayward City. Um, there are more human-like mermaids without scales, etc. Um, just depends on, you know, their own um, strain of evolution. So, party... She looks really cool. I love that. And I haven't, hadn't been able to use this hair yet. And I'm like, yes, I'm using this hair. Oh, I could have just showed you that. <laughs> Raytana dumb. So, and also the species has pointed ears. Did that take away the specular? Yes, it did. Something's uh -huh. taking away the specular. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I can't care. I can't care. Well, swim attire, you're always swimming, so I just gave her something summery. Okay. Next is the dad. His name is Logan. Sparkly! Hey. Wait a minute. Where's your tail? Why are you wearing the female tail? You're supposed to be wearing that tail! <sighs> well, when I come back in, I'll have to... So he's a blue mermaid. Um, merman, sorry. Um, I'm thinking that color of scales... Wow isn't genetic because they all have different colored scales but they all have similar colored hair and eyes so here's him he's pretty he's got different shaped ears I'm thinking that this species of mermaid perhaps or many other species of mermaid 
are born with colorless scales that develop later in life. And I'm thinking, I know this is really lame, I'm thinking based on their personality. I don't know. I just, I, I kind of wanted it that way. Also, mm. also, this skin, just like um, the, the full specular skin, will oh. put glitters on some clothing. So, do they have scales on their clothing? I, I don't know. Also in clay hair, again. So, hmm. yeah, it just, that's just how it is. Uh, again, you're wearing, yeah, I'm gonna fix it. So he has, he obviously has green eyes. Um, and then that's athletic, I suppose. Formal. It wasn't easy to try and find shirts that didn't clip too much with the tails, especially with the toddlers. Hmm. And that's normal. Does that take away the specular? Yeah, that's okay. Huh. I mean, if it only takes away the specular, but it, the scales are still there, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, let's go to the eldest son. Nope, no, 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 the, the eldest son is Caden. I, I lose track. Okay, so this is Caden, <laughs> and he's he's just so very pretend sad. So he inherited his mother's eyes. Um, his hair is most likely brown, uh, or the same blue that his little sister's is, um, which is recessive, but he colors it black, mm. and that's his black tail. It's beautiful and black. <laughs> um. Formal, and he also has black scales on his skin, so, and uh, lots of piercings. He's cute, though. And athletic, mm. because why not? He's got a, a that tattoo, obviously. Are you wearing the female one? I think you are wearing the female one. But you don't have a feminine frame, do you? So, no, so. you don't. I actually probably could have figured that out on my own. He has the same shark tattoo as um, Noel does. Party. Party hard. Okay. He probably goes to Wayward City. Um, probably doesn't venture too deep into it, but... You know, because he wants conflict. He wants... Adventure depressing adventure, danger, whatever. Okay, now let's go to the girl. Alright, so I'm thinking the pink hair is actually recessive on the dad's side of the family. The, the royal blue hair is um, recessive on the mom's side of the family. Also, blue eyes. Blue eyes are recessive in their family. I don't know which side. So... This necklace, the person who made the necklace, ah. put some of the texture on the glasses area. So I have to go in and fix that. I shouldn't have to fix your shit. <laughs> so, and um, this gave me a chance to finally use this hair. I've never used this hair before. And she has a colorful little rainbow tail. She's mm. kind of like a Smiles villain on the inside. So she, she loves girly stuff. She, she has fun. She's cute. She's preppy. She likes to party. Of course you would sleep with bows in your hair. Why wouldn't you sleep with bows in your hair? You're so cute! <laughs> I love this! So this is uh, Jenny Sims, I believe. I love it. Oh, she's so pretty! And those shells... Oh! She has a Sailor Moon tattoo, she has a flower tattoo that goes beneath her tail, I guess. <laughs> she also has a belly button piercing. So, cute, cute, cute. She has fantastic breastuses. <laughs> and, quote-unquote, swimwear. I really liked this, too. That was really Ooh. cool. So, yep, yep, yep. That is Ivy. Now we'll go to the second eldest son. This is Patrick. And no, I didn't name him after Patrick Starr in Spongebob. I randomized their names. Now, you will see many glitches with the children and the toddlers. 
So when he's not wearing a shirt, okay, these lines, those are his not shoes. <laughs> so that is something I have to fix. Um, when they're not wearing shirts, there's this gap, and I have not yet figured out why. So he's obviously in his swimming sort, attire sort. He inherited the blue eyes and looks like his mother's ears. And he has red scales, obviously. Well, I guess for those of you who are colorblind. Um, he, is, for party, he dressed up as a little devil because he has red scales. And he probably is a little influenced by his older brother. So, but he, he does, he's got, he's got some rebelliousness in him. Uh, by the way, a rebel wayward is, um, a wayward that prefers to wear Smilesville fashion. Um, I don't think there's a way, uh, a rebel Smilesvillian that I've figured out yet, um, because anything really goes. I mean, you've got goths and super colorful ravers and anything. Um, athletic. He looks so cute. Little hat. I believe that's the hat that I converted from adult to child. Oh, and he also inherited his mother's um, poor eyesight. So, look at him with his hair slicked back. <laughs> Such a little douchebag. <laughs> Did I give them special teeth? Oh my god, no! No, I gave them perfect teeth. I think I gave him braces. Hmm. Let's find out. Yes, he has braces. Let's go back to him and take a look at his everyday outfit. So, da -da 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 he really likes pirates and sailors. <laughs> Okay, now the younger sister, she inherited the deep blue hair and has purple scales. So, hmm, that is odd. The texture is going onto her skin. Ugh, it's so weird. I don't want to spend too much time um, trying to fix the tails, but... You know, and again with the no feet, she has the same lines going on. She inherited green eyes. Why are your eyebrows brown, red? I don't even know what they are. I made them blue. I hate that. Her hair color is probably going to change while I'm showing you this. Mm. This is formal. Isn't she adorable? She's so cute. And athletic. She has a little ladybug. Sleep. I'm surprised your hair hasn't changed color yet. So she's got rather long hair, sort of like her mom. And because her brother dressed up as a devil, she decided to dress up as an angel for party. Because she's so cute. Look at her big tails. Oh my god, she's so cute! <laughs> and then, again, the swim. Fix. I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on. Okay, so the youngest boy is Shane. Oh, that was Lucia, by the way. And he's a little... little he's He's got the recessive pink hair. Uh, oh. oh, he's cute. Now, I think I can judge if I made you older than your sister by your teeth. Yeah, I gave you full teeth. I think I gave her these teeth. He inherited the purplish eyes. Yeah. <laughs> from mom. Green scales. Okay, so I actually have two outfits for the toddlers. Um, so this is every day, and that's the best I could do with the shirt. I might try and figure something out later. Um, I know it clips. It's lame. <laughs> um... And then this is athletic because toddlers don't have athletic, which I think is lame. And then this is swim. And then formal, 
He has a widow rose and a widow tiara. He does so cute. What color eyes do you have? Yeah, the purple. This is sleep, which I guess I already showed. And then this is party. He's on a mission. <laughs> he's he's gonna go somewhere. I didn't even know. I just want an excuse to use this hat. <laughs> All right. And yes, Dina is younger than her brother. So this is her sleep. And I gave her a little pacifier. She inherited the brown hair. It looks like she's the only one who inherited brown hair. Unless Caden's hair ended up being brown. I don't know. Because he colors it, colors it black. Okay. So here's every day. Oh my god, she's so cute. She also inherited the purple eyes. Oh my god, she's so cute. <laughs> Look at your little fishy earrings! <laughs> okay. And then this is her athletic. She has an octopus on her head. I imagine that's a real octopus that she went out and found and stuck on her head. Because she's just that cute. <laughs> and then that swimwear. And formal is a little bow. Look at the little bow. And the little shirt dress that's slightly clipping into there. Are you having the same trouble with uh, your no feet? You should be. I don't see why you wouldn't. I did the exact same thing. Huh. I'll have to double check that. I mean, I'm not complaining, but... Star earrings. And then... Oh, I already showed you sleep. And party! She's... Oh, nope. You are ha Yeah, you are having the issues. I'm thinking I didn't take the weights away or something. Okay. Cute. Just so cute. Alright, so that's the Duvals. <sighs> so many things to fix. So little time. So little motivation. Get your sims out. Click on the phone to begin traveling. Well, this is my sleepy rats. Oh my god. Oh, and for those of you watching on YouTube, if you watch this entire thing, um, since I don't remember everything that I say in these streams, when you answer one of my questions um, in the comments, please be specific which question you're answering, because sometimes I'll look at them and I'll be like, what are you talking about? So, yeah. Um, who's Walsh again? Oh, Ivana. Jisatsu, Kotako, um, Baxter's Bitches, Man Hit Um, Flame of Fire, The Aces, Pretty Boy, Malfoy. I think I gave Harry some new clothes, but. I changed all of my clothes. Kiki Mimi! We need to take a look at you. You know what? She's going to be the last. Because any of the, of the other changes, I believe, um, are subtle. Okay, so with Kiki Mimi, I decided that all of the first slots of all of the categories are when she's not performing. All of the other slots are stage costumes. So here's her everyday wear. And she's as crazy as a Smiles villain would be. She prefers to dress um, as a Smiles villain because she's a Smiles villain. 
So she's super cute. I'm gonna take a look at all of her everyday first, and then I'll show you her stage costumes. Huh. For formal, she is doing a Clearwater Park um, thing. This is the same dress, only a different color that um, Princess Sugarlump was wearing. Mm -hmm. And um, she wears wigs, so that's why her hair is different colors and different lengths and stuff. For athletic, she's doing a Wayward City type fa fashion. So, I mean, really, the only way you could tell it's <laughs> Kiki Mimi is that specific tattoo on her face. But well, Raytana, what if other people, what if people who like Kiki Mimi get the same tattoo? I, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to make it illegal to copy a tattoo, but <laughs> I don't know. I guess. You just have to be careful? I don't know. Well, in Smilesville and Clearwater Park, at least, people would be honest and be like, Oh no, I'm just a fan of Kiki Mimi. So, and then this is her sleepwear. So that's what her actual hair looks like, or the closest I can get. So, that's just sleepwear. Nothing... Nothing interesting. Just pink. And for party, we're going Wayward City fashion again. She looks really hot. <laughs> I thought I gave you con- no, it was for a different one. Am I sure? I'm not sure. No, because that's in face paint. Okay. And then for swim, she's gone. Smiles fillion. Huh. So, yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm. Now let's take a look at stage costumes. Here's some Smiles Villian fashion. So, we got some cutesy stuff. Bunch of stuff from Zalma that I had to fix. I had to take the normals away from the shoes and everything. I have not added morphs to Zalma's stuff, so unfortunately her glorious breastuses are very flat. But she looks so cute. She's supposed to be like candy waitress. Uh, all of this kind of reminded me of Mini Moni, so she, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of inspired by that. And then... This is the outfit I had her in before, and I didn't want to get rid of it because it just looks really good on her. Um, oh, I didn't even notice that I had her wearing this collar, and because her hair is right there, I didn't notice her, her her eyelashes were like that. That's okay. I will fix them. Don't worry. Another one. She is dressed like a bug. A very shiny bug. And she has the contacts. Oh, they have hearts in them. Look at that. She's so cute! <laughs> and then here, um, this is trying to replicate... Let's see. Where are you? There you are, Kiki. Okay. So I mean this is a this is what her normal hair looks like, but I'm tr I was trying to replicate this outfit with this. It's nowhere near. I'm thinking I might recolor this stuff, but mm -hmm. it's it's one of those things where you're just like, uh, I don't know. So that's something. Okay. And here we got some clear water park uh, inspired fashions. So that's really elegant. I really like that. And then. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I meant other slots. Okay. And then we got. She kind of looks like I did when I was 19 in an outfit like this. Mm -hmm. I was so pretty when I was 19. It used to be so pretty. So, she can't wear earrings because of the fact that this microphone is in the earrings section. And this is pretty wacky for Clearwater Park, but, I mean, it's not unheard of for, you know, Clearites to dress a little more wacky than what is socially considered normal on Earth. So, and I gave her contacts. She wears contacts sometimes. 
and five. She has sort of an athletic type uh, outfit going on. I think I gave her, yeah, I gave her contacts for this too. All right, now Wayward City stage costumes. <laughs> Metal. <laughs> so I really liked this. Um, she had this before, but she had different hair, and I thought it wasn't it wasn't good enough, so I updated her a little bit. Super awesome. Um, third slot. This is awesome. I found this. It's by John Sims. I was like, oh my god, that is freaking cool. That's freaking hell. So we got that going on, and I. Um, gave her those contacts and just made her look even more metal than what she had on before. Um, she, she looks real great. And then four, we've gone something a little more tame. Got some purple going on. Her eyes are, her pupils are hearts. And then here, we had something fancy, and I made her into a little demon, and I gave her contacts again, little horns, a little dress, oh. wings, and cute. All right, I believe in sleep we have more clear water um, park fashion, so I had her in this before, and I don't know, I I kind of liked the way the pants went over the socks like that because the it frilled out with the same color as the pants, but the bows were still white. And so I'm like, let's, yeah, let's do that. Oh. And I liked the way this skirt looked with this shirt. I had, I had to. Look at her eyes. This is the pretty eyes. Oh, she's so pretty. I love this hair, too. And four. We've gone much more subtle. And let's go a little sexy. <laughs> oh, I gave her really rich brown eyes there. Hmm. Okay, and then we got more Wayward City fashion coming up in here. Got some black and blue going on. I made her wear that for another... That's okay. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Kiki Mimi is done. No more edits to Kiki Mimi. Kiki Mimi. <laughs> Ooh. I went full-fledged demon there. What are you taking? It? Oh, no. That's okay. It's probably the ring. So, I went like... Um. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Like royal demon. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. Oh, we went semi goth um, pinup. Unfortunately, you know, she only has that one tattoo, so it's it doesn't look um, real rockabilly, but you know, so. really wish I could give you earrings. <laughs> uh, and five. Oh! We went sort of Japanese with this kimono. Really sexy. Duh. She's so pretty. <laughs> okay. And now we come back to Smilesville fashion. I just want to eat you up. Nom, 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 nom. Look at this hair. Oh my god, she looks so cute. <laughs> oh, and um, since I changed my clothes, I gave her this top. Um, so I gave her a kind of a uh, schoolgirl look. Because the pigtails just said pleated plaid skirt, please. She's like rebellious schoolgirl because of the leather jacket, though. So, 
Anything goes in Smilesville. Ooh, yes. I did this one because I found these boots. I was like, oh, man, those boots are sick. I need to use them for something. So I gave her a bunch of stripedies and pink stuff. And a mask. So, and bunny. So, ah, that just looks so awesome. And then this. <laughs> This is the third costume I've given you those specific eyes. I might change that. Solar system necklace. So oh. she's like a cotton candy clown fairy. <laughs> Look at that! She looks great. She's so crazy. I love it. Yep, doodle strudel. Okay, so... I'm going to restart my game and put my not safe for work folder back in. Um, I don't know when I'm going to stream again. We'll see. Um, anyway. Um, I wrote it down. I did. I wrote down what I'm supposed to say at the end of the video. So that I didn't screw it up anymore. Here it is. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. And don't forget to click the little bell. <laughs> if you're watching on Twitch, follow me, spread the word of awesome, become a Raytonite. And I shall see you later, alligators and crocodiles. I shall see you later, alligators and crocodiles. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>